So, welcome to our small group talk show. Like I'm Nayuri, and I'm doing the host of today. And here is the guest of us, like um, Guro and Greg and Ida. <laughs> so, have you ever seen our movie? Like, yes. That one. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's one. Yes. So, how do you two came up on this the most famous thing? Well, we all come from different countries and we all have different cultures. So we just kind of wanted to incorporate that into our revolver machine to kind of like learn about each other. So we created these backgrounds and the food and um, the clothing of each country so that we can learn a lot and so that we could, you know, maybe teach you guys a little bit about our own cultures as well. So that's kind of like our main idea. Thank you, girl. So how do you divide the work at the past? So we decided to divide the work uh, because since we know our own country, so uh, Guru did Norway, he then Nayubi uh, did Japan, and I did the Philippines. Oh, okay, thank you. So what is the first country? Uh, the first, we start at the Nikyo University. Yeah, Nikyo University because the, we all member met together in the university, Nikyo University. So our story that start at the Nikyo. So this is the reason for using the Nikyo. The next part is the Japanese traditional food and clothes. And uh, this is the kimono, is old traditional clothes in Japan. And it is made by origami and teach teach them origami old. old. You remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got okay. it. We got it. <laughs> And so, yeah, we made it all. And next part is the Japan landscape. And first, we start at Kyoto. Do you know Kyoto? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, Kyoto is the old traditional city in Japan. And next part is the, yeah, next part is the Tokyo, Tokyo city. So this is a new city in Japan. So uh, I combine with the old traditional culture and new culture in there. Well, thank you, Hide. So, what's the next country? Uh, so, we decided to make Philippines as the next stop because it is geographically near Earth than uh, Norway to Japan. So, it started at the airport. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's an airport. Uh, <laughs> it's Naya in Manila, and then next is uh, Chocolate Hills in Bohol. It's a famous tourist spot in the Philippines. And then the last is a monument of our national hero. Uh, Jose Rizal. The next is uh, the story goes on that uh, it goes to a Filipino restaurant and sees the uh, national dress of the Philippines called Filipiniana, also made out of origami. And that's it. Okay, thank you, Ray. So, what's the next country? Yeah, that's Norway, which is far north in Europe and far away from here. And it starts by night, Norway by night, so you can feel the stars, you can feel it's dark. And then we go on top of the uh, which is kind of named as high as the mountain, and I personally have been on there. Yep. Um, it's not as high as Mount Fuji, but we try. Um, and then it goes on to uh, the Norwegian capital, which is Oslo. It visits um, Oslo City Hall that you can see here. And it goes to the Parliament of Norway. And then it goes to Bergen, another big city in Norway. And um, more specifically, it goes to the port, which is on the UNESCO's World Heritage uh, List uh, in Norway. And then going to go as far north to see the Northern Lights, um, which is very, very, very famous and also a big tourist attraction in Norway. And then we move on to 71 degrees north, um, which is the most northern mainline point apart from the North Pole um, in Europe. Uh, and um, it's not only just um, a famous um, TV series in Norway, it's also a very famous monument in itself. And then we move on to a wooden restaurant. This is supposed to be wood, yeah. Mm. Uh, anyway, and uh, there you see origami yet again. Uh, there's other Norwegian um, traditional costumes, and it's um, supposed to be food. I'm not sure if it's edible, but yeah, it's food anyway. So that's it. <laughs> okay, thank you, girl. Now we can understand about this maybe, maybe very well. So do you guys have any questions to our guests? No? So then we're gonna finish. Thank you very much. <laughs>